Hello everybody, it's Milo, your Conservation Communications Manager here at Riverbank Zoo and Garden. And today we are joining you with some very unique Riverbanks residents for today's feature of Z Learning. Now, some of you might be wondering, what are we looking at? And others of you might be very, very familiar with what we're looking at. We are here, this is your hint, we are here in the Discovery Center at Riverbanks for a quick behind the scenes look at some of our hmm, oddest animal residents. But I am not alone. I am joined by Anna, one of our mammal keepers today. <laughs> and Anna is actually in the midst of doing her daily routine because even though we might be temporarily closed to the public, we are still providing the highest quality of care for all of our animal residents. So Anna, tell us what we're looking at. What species is this first off? So these are our naked mole rats. <laughs> now I do want to jump in quick because yes. I know a lot of times people wonder, these must be babies. They have to be our baby naked mole rats. Are we looking at baby naked mole rats? I actually would say that is the most common question we have here because we have both Demarlin and naked mole rats, but they are actually two completely separate species of mole rat. So our nakeds here, they're actually between 10 to 20 years old. Wow. So far from babies. Yes. So this is what adults look like. They truly have that kind of naked appearance, that pink, hairless sort of look about them with very, very small understated eyes as well. So tell us though, because I think the folks that actually get to see these guys here in the Discovery Center, oh, and you can hear all those noises too. What did you feed them today? It looks like they're getting a special snack. Banana is their absolute favorite, and they let out the cutest squeaks when we give it to them. <laughs> That's my favorite. I was gonna say, you folks can definitely hear all that excitement coming from our naked mole rats. Now, a question we do get a lot, besides the fact of, are they babies or not? Here, let me go ahead and pan up and get a better view, since we do this behind the scenes look. Why do they have this very unique setup? It's kind of unlike a lot of our other habitats here at Riverbanks. Yeah, so mole rats are actually underground dwelling animals. So we have these different boxes here to kind of represent the chambers they would make if they were building their own kind of housing underground. So each of these chambers, it's really cool to see. They'll decide what they become. So this one is where they typically sleep, so we call it their bedroom. And then our other mole rat colonies, these guys don't really use the bathroom a lot in one specific one, but other ones will have a specific bar bathroom compartment as well as a specific kitchen. And if we put the food in another box, they will carry it to their designated kitchen. <laughs> okay, so I have to ask them. That's a great point. That's fascinating about naked mole rats. So the bananas are over here. I'm guessing, is this the dining room then? It is, yes. <laughs> Very cool. Very organized too, for being such a small mammal species. Oh they... yes, these guys are colony living. They're super cool. They have a queen. They are eusocial, just like bees and ants. So they'll have one queen and then a bunch of workers under her. So we do have four nakeds here and the largest is the queen. It's kind of difficult to tell them apart. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. All right, everybody. So for today's feature, we're going to focus on naked mole rats, of course. And what I want you to do is go ahead and check out our comment section below or our caption for your guided Z learning activity today. But before we go, a big thank you to Anna from our mammal department. And of course, these very adorable naked mole rats that are enjoying their banana snacks. Until next time, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in for Z learning.